It's day 11, sort of. So today we, I'm going to do the day 11 sketch um, using this sketch. It is from Follow a Sketch, February 2024. And I am using Life's a Party pack from Close to My Heart. And this pack is very bright. And I tend to be kind of a monochromatic scrap, scrapbooker. So I'll show you how I did, um, how I was able to use the papers without making it so overwhelming. So here are the papers that I used. And um, I will be making a companion page for this on my next video. Um, and I think that one will be from like day five or day six. I'm kind of hopping around because I got a light start. But this has been so much fun and the sketches are so beautiful. So I am just super excited to um, be doing this. So once again, I will show you how I've started. And I've done a lot of prep work just because I like to keep my videos less than 15 minutes. So the first thing that I did was I um, gutted my sketch. And this, because I was able to gut my sketch, which I'm cutting, I'm putting it in the, my rail cutter and I'm cutting down um, and leaving an inch on each side, which gives me a nice gutted frame. And I'm able to use the middle, which gives me a 10 by 10. And I was able to mat my pictures um, and it saves a lot of paper. And here, so this is what I did so far. So, um, like I said, I did a lot of prep stuff. So um, with no further ado, I'm gonna show you. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is I struggle with colors. So Close to My Heart paper tells you the colors on the back of this paper and then at the top there's a zip strip and then on the back they list all the colors, the prominent colors, well they don't list all of them, but they, they um, have the prominent colors in this paper pack which are ballerina black Bluebird, Candy Apple, French Vanilla, Jade, and Sundance. And um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these little pieces off. And I glued the numbers down because there are a lot of them. And I didn't think you would need to glue all of them. So can you guess how old the person who I'm making this page is um, going to be? The clue is on the page. So... Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is, um, because I am on white paper, I'm going to use a method called um, direct to paper, ink to paper, um, direct ink to paper. It has a it has another name that I can't think of right now. And I, I'm just putting it on the edge just so um, it will um, help it stand out a little bit. So I'm going to this back on this side like this. I will glue this down when I'm done with everything else I want to do. So the next thing that I'm going to do is my five. I want my five to stand out a little bit and I'm following the sketch. I buried the sketch again. You remember the sketch? So I have my numbers. I want my five, oops sorry, I want my five to stand out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is another um, technique um, there's all kinds of mixed media techniques. This is the least messy and the least expensive. And I want my five to stand out a little bit. So I'm taking the ballerina ink, which is listed as one of my coordinating colors. And I'm just going to very lightly put um, ballerina where my five is going to be. So then I'm going to take that. Oh, wouldn't it be fun if I buried my tape runner? I'm always burying my tape runner. Okay, I set everything out and then I bury it alive. So, of course I can't find a tape runner. Um, oh, <laughs> right in front of me. So I'm going to put the five on there now that I've just uh, added a little bit. And it just gives a, a little something something to make that five stand out. Okay, according to my sketch, I am going to have two pictures on here. I did, I took the paper that I gutted this from, and they had their, their pictures going straight up, but um, because I have a little bit of a uh, getting things straight kind of thing, 
I've heard, it may not be true, but I've heard that um, if you put things at an angle, then nothing has to be straight. I'm going to kind of set these down so I know where they're going to go so I don't, um, and then I'm going to add a little bit more um, sponging. So this is how everything is going to be. So I have white paper and it's pretty stark. So I am just going to add pink in places that I think need it. So I'm going to just sponge a little here. I'm going to sponge a little, um, I'll pick up where the, the mat's going to be and I'm going to sponge a little under like that. And I'm going to sponge a little here. And this is a very light color and uh, the uh, camera is probably not picking it up, but we know it's there and that's what makes it happy, us happy. And then I'm just going to put a little down here. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you is, um, so this um, was a die cut. I'll show you the die cut that I used. This was a die cut from a special a couple of years back. And I love this. I have used this more often. They also had a star one. And I got that one as well. And I think I may have a heart one. Um, so I liked how they're interconnected. If you don't have this particular one, you could use your basic circles and um, create the same type of look. And on the sketch, that's what they've done. They've used, they've just used a variety of circles. But this was so easy because it was already done. And I want to show you show you another thing that I did. So these are all little. So I took, I cut this out twice. I used white and I used ballerina. And um, that's going to help me in two ways. Number one, it gives me a little dimension. And then number two, um, I was able to take my basic circles and cut out all of these. And these come from my pattern paper. Can you see where I, I've gotten some of these from? So I cut out the cake with a circle. And I cut out this hat with a smaller circle. This hat with a smaller circle. I'm going to lift it up. And what else did I do? I think I did a package. So one of these packages. So there were a lot of icons on here, and this was a little bit too busy for my liking. So I was able to create this um, effect, which is also on the layout, and it turned out perfectly. So um, I am going to go ahead and glue that one down. I am kind of a very much a very plain scrapper, so and I, I do struggle with clusters. I will watch an entire YouTube video just so I can figure out how people have done clusters. Um, and you know, life is wonderful because the things that we love, oh, I forgot to tell you too. This one is actually a sticker from the sticker sheet, and this cupcake is also a sticker from the sticker sheet. So if they fit on my circle, I just glued them down and I'm going to put them right here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to put my pictures down next now that I have them the way I want to. I'm going to put them down. And um, a thing that you might want to do is, um, another tip is if you have things overlap. When you have things overlap, then um, it makes it look more, I don't know, more, more better. <laughs> I used to teach English. Can you tell? All right. It just adds a little something when, when they touch. But I'm not going to glue this down because I, I have pictures that I've printed, but um, they are of other people's children, so I'm not going to put them on although they're really cute pictures I'm sorry you won't be able to see them that's gonna go there and then I'm going to pop dot pop dot this have you seen these so I got these at the dollar store actually I think the dollar store it's since it's no longer a dollar um, I think sometimes you can find things just as cheap at Hobby Lobby with the 40% off um, although I do sell close to my heart, so this paper pack is close to my heart. 
that I am cheap by nature. So um, glue dots, a lot of times I'll just grab them at the dollar store if I'm out and about. You know what, I'm going to, I'm going to move everything down because I am. Okay. And then I'm going to move these pictures down. Isn't that the beauty of repositionable tape? Um, so, um, the letters I cut out of glitter, um, they might be, um, I always forget that I have glitter, and I always forget that I love glitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these down just a hair. And I'm just going to slide them under here, and then... Um, once, once I get my pictures, I will put them on there. So these letters, I'm so forgetful. Um, these letters are from this um, stamp and thin cut. Uh, it's from Close My Heart. It's in the current catalog. If you do not have a maker, I will leave my information. And um, if you need, if you would like this paper pack or these supplies. Um, birthday is wonderful because, hey, everybody has one. So, I am going to go ahead and now that I've committed, I'm going to put this on last because I, I kind of want it to hang over. Um, so, my plan for the next layout is it will be a companion page. It will not be, it's not really a two-page spread because they're two separate sketches from two separate days. But um, I will show you how um, I have picked paper and made it so that they're, um, they look as if they could go together. I, I really am a two page scrapper, but I'm okay with it being a companion page. As long as the two pages are out of the same pack, it, it's, yeah, it's my own little weirdness. So I am going to just, um, do a little bit of paper here. And then I'm going to set, I was kind of liking how if, um, at an angle, but um, the other um, companion page I plan on doing is more uh, straight up and down. Ooh, so I've got my Versamat. I'm going to try to set this down at a half an inch and a half an inch. And see how this is a bright pack, but it's not overwhelming. I would also like to say that this is from the digital file. So Close to My Heart has, with their paper packs, they have um, a digital file for those that are in the regular catalog, and they coordinate perfectly. They're $10, and um, you don't pay any sh shipping on it. You pay for it, and like 10 minutes later, it shows up in your cart, and they're SVGs, and you just download them, and you're good to go. So this is this layout. It does need a little something-something. Um, it's a little bit on the plain side. So um, what I could do, I did not bring it and I'm not going to um, probably, I'll probably add, I always wind up adding a little something. Oh, uh, let me look at the, let's look at the, the layout and see if we can get to add a little something something. So in this layout, they have, oh sorry, there's a title here. I'm not having a title. I am just going to go ahead and use these little strips. And there's a cute one on the sticker sheet that I am going to use. Actually, there's two of them. Um, and this is going to really help out um, because it does look a little plain. And I there's so on the sticker sheet, the nice thing about the sticker sheet is there's all this other stuff that you can add. And um, if I'm going to add a little bit more sponging because I'm thinking it is just a little, it, it needs a little bit more color. Okay. And the little girl, see, I'm, I'm pressing a little bit harder. And if you, um, I do need to re remember to re-ink them. When you're using a lot of these methods, um, you use, um, you need to re-ink more often. Okay. So I like that a little bit better. I'm going to add the sticker that says, there's one that says, um, where is a birthday girl? 
birthday girl. So I'll put this one right here. Be, remember, I am adding my pictures later, so I'm going to put it on um, 3D tape. And what you can do a lot of times, oh, I don't have any, well, let's see. I'm going to cut these in half. Oops. It's a little sticky. I'm going to put it on my hand. <laughs> that will help for two reasons. It makes it a little less sticky, and I won't lose it. Okay, so I'm putting this one and I'm not taking I'm not taking the adhesive back off because I am going to add it later so that's that one I guess I can add and I'm cutting these in half how many of you buy these at the dollar store probably quite a few all right and I can see that I'm right on 15 minutes I am going to put the the layout calls for two, so I'm going to put one and let's see. They have theirs right by the two, but I have I have other stuff going on there, so I'm going to put birthday girl right there. And then um, I have this yellow, and I only have yellow a couple places. So there's this cute little star one, and I'm going to put it right there. That just adds a little color to it. And then I need to, oops. I really don't think they have a title, but I really don't think it needs a title because it obviously is birthday. Um, and now um, there are, it's a little bare. This is where it, it's hard for me is um, when to, I'll put that there. Embellishing is not my strong suit. Um, and I think I think there's a little heart. You know what? I am just going to think on adding. It, I think it needs a little bit something here, a little something there. But I do not want to go overboard. So tomorrow I will think out. This is when it's a companion page. I'll show you when I get finished with them all together. So this is my day 12. Um, my day 12 contribution, I guess. Oh, they have, they also have another, um, I'm looking at this, and they also have another tag over here. And I think that will add to something there. So I am going to put, um, what shall I put? There's all these cute, I have yay down here. I'm going to put just this little yellow thing right there. And I'm going to put it on a half of a, I'm pop dotting it a little bit. And what I might do is I might look in my stash and find maybe some little bit of bling to go up here. But anyway, so I felt. As usual, I followed the sketch fairly closely. I didn't do the banners, but it was great fun. I had a, I had a lot of fun. I could put journaling up here too if I wanted to. So um, yeah, actually, I probably will do that. I'll put journaling maybe where she had a birthday and that sort of thing. And anyway, so I am very happy with this layout, and I think it went fast. And even though I'm using super busy. Um, pattern paper. I didn't have to, um, it, it wasn't too much. And I added all these fun items without having to fussy cut. So um, that is a win. So anyway, we'll see you the next time I manage to get another layout done. Um, I do have a four day weekend and I'm hoping to catch up. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.